Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins this week. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. Okay, so here I am in my great room again. Um, it's a little bit change of, of uh, change of scenery, um, family in town. So I'm filming these kind of uh, in quick succession um, while everyone's out of the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into my haul for the week. The first thing I found at the bins, oh, and everything that I am going to show you cost me $16.83. So the first thing I found was this wreath which I think is going to be beautiful for the springtime. It does not smell at all. And I'm not, it doesn't really look like dusty. You know, sometimes you can see like things collect dust in someone's house, but I'm not sure this was ever used because it just doesn't look dusty. Um, but I really like these berries. That works really well in my decor. So I think that's going to be really pretty. Then for my Thanksgiving table, and I need to wash it. I just thought this was so pretty. And it's, so it's a big tablecloth. It's hard for me to show it all to you. Um, but that's what it looks like. This is brown. It's coming off a little color coming off. And then it's edged in gray, which I thought was so cool. I like brown and gray together. I think it's really different. So I ordered myself some gray buffalo check napkins, which sounds weird, but I think they're gonna look really cute. I will work that into a video for you or just an Instagram post. I know a lot of you like to see how I use things. I do not have time to make videos about everything, but I do post a lot of pictures on Instagram. And I know I say you can find me there, but legitimately like that's where I post a lot of pictures of how I'm using things or, different ways I'm decorating. I just, it's really easy to put a picture up on there. So if that's the kind of thing that's interesting to you, you that's a good place to find me. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. I found this, which is a little heavy, but um, I think she's really cute. And it has like someone's children's names on it, but that's easy enough to paint over. And so I will use her for my decor next year. I, I love her little stockings. I just think she's cute. I love the colors. So that was cool. I like those kind of wooden, rustic, I don't know what you call them, um, decor. You know, it's my thing. It's my jam. Okay, I got this. It looks like some vintage -y Christmas greens. It's kind of funky. I like it though. Um, the leaves are kind of a silvery green and then the berries are a little glittery. So, but that was pretty and that will look pretty in some kind of Christmas arrangement. I got this for outside. This is really cute. It says welcome. I need to stick it in the ground soon though because one thing about Minnesota is our ground freezes and then once it's frozen, that's it. You're not getting anything into the ground. So I need to put this outside soon. I'm going to change the bow. I am not a fan of this bow. It has definitely seen better days. So I'll probably use some of my Buffalo check and that will be cute out on my porch until it's covered in two feet of snow. That happens here. Okay, and then if you saw my um, thrift haul on Sunday, you saw that I found a full one of these. Um, I found this little guy and I did not find the bottom. I don't know if it's old or not. It looks older to me than the one that I found the other day. The one I found the other day says made in China on the bottom. He has like more detail. So I don't know, he might be the real thing. I really have no way of knowing. Um, there's his face and he's very cute and he's still gonna go on my squirrel shelf even though I don't have the bottom. That's okay with me because I just think he's really cute. So, okay. I found this and in it are some other things that I found. So this is a tin. And it says made in Taiwan. So I think it's a little older, but I'm gonna turn it for you so you can see it's very Courier's and Ives-ish. And I think it's really pretty and that will be pretty on a shelf. And remember, sometimes I take the lid off and then if you put ribbon on it or a way to hang it, you've got yourself a little um, ornament or you can set this on a tiered tray. Um, so, you know, you kind of get double your money here. So. And then in here are just a few things that I found, an old Christmas ball. 
and I found a Santa. And I love this. I found a little wooden bird. So this will go on my wooden ornaments tree. And I found this cutie. What he's doing. He has like short pants on. It's kind of funny. But I thought he was cute. He has a Christmas tree. It almost looks like he's marching or something. I don't know. But I thought he was cute. And this old ball. I have some of these that are actually from the 70s. I know because they're from my childhood. So I don't know that this one is that old, but it'll go really well with the ones that I have. I found this cutie set of little trains. Oops, they're spinning. And one other little ornament. It's a sun catcher. I really like sun catchers. Um, they remind me of my childhood, so. With that I'll just stick that I have one of the nativity that I always hang in my kitchen window and so I'm going to hang this one in my kitchen window as well so that's all the goodies that are in this little tin oh and then I didn't show you this there's also this it's just a brass candlestick I pick these up when I see them at the bins because they're good for crafting so okay I found this it's a wind gauge I thought if we can figure out a way to mount it on our deck, it'd just be really interesting to see. And it like measures your, it's a rain gauge and a wind gauge and it's kind of cool. We have some pretty uh, nifty weather here in Minnesota. So I thought that'd be useful. And then I found this, which I thought was really neat. Well, let me show you this first. I found this little baby train. I can't, I can't believe I found all these pieces to it. There are four pieces to it. Oh. And they're so tiny, if you can see, like compared to my hand, they're really tiny. So I have the caboose and then two other, well, I don't know, maybe that's, nope, there's, these are meant to go in between. So four, four pieces of that. And then this is the caboose because it only has like the one hook. So I thought those were cool, but they're really, I'm going to put those in that tin with the other little bits and bobs that I found. Um, but the really cool thing that I found was by an artist and his name is Decella and this is made in Mexico and it's paper mache and he was like a paper mache artist. Oh my goodness, I just love this. I think it's so cool. And it does have a little damage to it, but not much. They had it taped shut, I guess, so it would stay together. It has a little damage on his hat, but I think that adds to his vintage charm. I think he's adorable and I can't wait to set him out in side here in my um, Christmas decor. So, all right. Then I also found this I thought was really neat. It's a Hazel Atlas measuring cup, glass. And you know, I melt measuring cups. So always fun to find glass ones. And then this is an old one. So I think that's really cool. And I like it cause look, it has like the front pour, but then you can pour out the sides too, which I think is cool. So found that. And then just a few other things. I found a doily. You know, I always pick them up when I see them. There's the pattern. It's really pretty. Found that. Um, oh, I forgot about him. I didn't even see him in my basket. Um, so this is something someone made. I think it just has someone's initials on it, maybe in ceramics class. But it's just this adorable little bunny, which I will use for... Um, my Easter decor. I keep wanting to say Halloween. <laughs> I have like Halloween stuck on my brain. Okay, and then I got this. Believe it or not, this is like worth money. I actually think I'm gonna hold on to it because I think with um, a little bottle brush tree in it, it's gonna look adorable in my Christmas decor, but it's made, it was a Dairy Queen toy made in China, radio flyer, and you can sell these on eBay for like, like I think like ten dollars or something. I'm not gonna sell it, but I just I always think it's interesting. Like the things that are worth money. It's kind of funny to look up. So I got another one of these. Um, 
you know, I was collecting them for my pumpkin, but I might do something else with them. That's coming soon. Okay, and then last few things here. Oh, okay, I got an old bottle brush tree. I pick up all bottle brush trees whenever I see them at the bins because I know I can use them in crafting. I think that's a really cute one. It's a light green color, which is a little different with the snow on it. And I found two of these, which I really like, and they are um, boxes. And so you can just, like they, um, they go like that. And then you have these cutie little, it, let me see if I can do it on the camera. Oh yeah, there we go. So you get this cutie little box, which I will use. I mean, I guess you could use it for a gift, but I'm going to use it for, um, oh, it says 1993, all rights reserved, Merlin Marketing Incorporated. So these are older and I think they're really adorable. These will great, and I have two of them, so I'm gonna stack them in a display for next Halloween. I think that will be very cute, so. And look, it has a little stem. Isn't that cute? I mean, people are so clever. I love that. I love finding things where like, you just see the creativity of people. It's very cool. And I don't want to bend it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that later when I'm not on the camera. Okay, and the very last thing I got is this um, toy, and let me see if I can read. Okay, it says Fisher Price Toys, 19, oh darn, I can't read the year. Something about the Quaker Oats Company. Um, I think he's so cute. And I told you I collect old toys and I display them at Christmas time. So he's gonna look great in my display. He's adorable. And someone, I guess, had him at their yard sale, but I did not pay 75 cents. Actually, I probably paid about 75 cents, given his weight. So, Okay, and that's all that I found this week at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found when I went treasure hunting at the bins. Um, if you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram, at Nicole North Garden. Thanks for watching.